Okay, we're back at the normal bins I usually am at. And after being at other bins, I'm pretty happy with, with mine, to be honest. Um, I just got back from some Minnesota bins and their pricing was a bit higher than mine. Which is surprising, I would think the West Coast would be higher. But anyways, I'm here, early bird in it, at the bins. I had a car appointment early, so I figured, why not? And actually, the parking lot is kind of not full, so I'm okay with that. But the Goodwill bins is where you dig through bins to find whatever you want, but you have to dig through it, and then you pay by the pound for what you find. So let's go in and dig through a bunch of stuff and see if we find any good things. All right, let's go. It is very weirdly quiet in here. It is also, they just opened an hour ago. So, that's a cute bag. Roxy. Hmm. Um, so that might be why, but usually people are like clamoring to get in, so. I don't know what to tell you. Nymph. I have never heard of Nymph. Nymph Los Angeles? I might look that up, just cause it's a new brand. Um, I think I am going to be starting to put together some reseller lots, um, auctioning on eBay. I'm going to probably be doing some purse lots and then some clothing lots. And I'm trying, I'm going to try to make it um, size specific when it comes to clothing lots in case someone wants to buy it that's not a reseller they can just buy a clothing lot that is their size what is this oh it's a skirt so i am going to be doing that and i'm going to be starting them off at 9.99 for the lot and that way I can try to get through some things. That's kind of what I was doing with whatnot. Might get that. Um, is trying to like just get through a bunch of inventory while I make videos for YouTube. So I'm gonna be doing that. I have a few lots going right now. That's kind of cute. This is just Target. That is kind of cute. I'll think about that. Um, I have a few lots going right now, handbag wise. But I should be putting up quite a few more if that interests anyone. That's interesting. Sundance Film Festival. I'm going to look up that too. Got a lot to look up. But yeah, I think that will help me get through kind of a chunk of inventory. Little Pie Company. Oh yeah, go. Go for it. Oh wow, that is very sparkly. <laughs> that is a party dress right there. Okay. 
Okie dokie. Woven heart. We're going to leave that one. William Sonoma apron. That is interesting. Cotton made in the USA. I'll look that one up. I'm looking up a bunch of stuff. Just looking up a ton of stuff. Well, I just met a very nice lady. I am so sorry I did not get your name, but thank you for watching my videos. That's so nice. Mel's Drive in. Also, I'm kind of glad I don't look like a hobbit today. But she found this dress. It's really fun. I think it might be from Amazon. Yes. I think this is... They still go for like... Probably like 50-ish. But it's not like a vintage one. But I still might get it because it is really pretty. She found it and she said, you should get this. So maybe I shall. Oh, we knew it takes. Maybe, I don't know what dollar amount that is. Hmm. I shall look that up too. Wow, I am looking up a lot of stuff. But it's like a little, uh... Is it a jumpsuit? You know what? It's a mystery. We're gonna figure it out. There is a lot of clothing in these bins today. Oh, my orange juice has fallen out. Curio, made in Hong Kong. It's kind of a nice vintage sweater. I'm trying to be more picky. It's like the story of my life. I can't be a hoarder, you know? I mean, I could be if, if I really wanted to be, but I really don't want to be, so. So we're gonna try to like keep things under control. Donnie, Donnie Brook made in Ukraine. That is not something you see every day. Russia fabric, Ukraine assembled. That is interesting, isn't it? I'll look that up. What are you? Sugar Thrills, made in China. Sugar Thrills. I'll look that up too. You know, with how many brands there are out there, it is almost impossible to keep up with <clears throat> everything but that is how you learn some Levi's 
not vintage and they're pretty ripped. And their little tag is ripped off. Ooh, this is fun. Is this vintage? Ooh, this is really fun. What are you? Are you a curtain? Okay, just kidding. I think it's like a curtain. Okay, I'm just gonna skim this one. That is newish. I'm pretty sure. Are you? World Tour. So this is 1996. But it was printed in 2020. Okay, and then some kids, mostly kids. Okay. I'm gonna look up my pile of things and see if there's anything worth salvaging in this. And then I might go to the back. So, one moment please, thank you. Okay, I lied, I'm gonna go look at shoes. They just put out some new bins, so. Let's take a little peek. Calvin Klein. These are nice sizes. Well, what size are you? Esprit. want these. Goodwill was selling them for $15. I think I'm going to leave those. Wow, these are really stiff. Game winner. Kids boots. Kudas. Are Kudas good? Oh, this one's got a hole in it. That can't be good. Target, BOC, Fair Paw, Lamb. I might look those up. These are vintage. Lower East Side. I think that was just a Payless brand, but might be worth getting. People like that chunky. Those are kind of cute too. I might get that. Flexus Italian Comfort by Spring Step. Palms. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, this is a faux shoe. Is this one of those things you put your phone in? Or you just want a shoe 
for display. Roxy. J. Renee. Ooh, those are fun. If I can find the other one. These are very dirty. Just fab. Madden Girl. Those are pretty cute. Oh, here's the other one. I'm gonna get those. Donald Pilner. Okay, so my last pair took like nine years to sell, so I don't know if I'm gonna get those, but I'll set them aside for a little looky. Rock Candy. Steve Madden. Lucky. These are nice luckies. Like, barely anywhere. Actually, I don't even know if they were wearing their size 10. So, yes, I'll take them. Nine West. Those are a nice booty. They are size. What the heck? Someone had two pairs? Size 38. Kind of no name. EDL presents pop. And those are falling apart. Olivia something falling apart. Nine West. Eight and a half. Hmm. I might have to get those. So delicious. Laundry. Lauren Conrad. Calvin Klein's like 
think I don't like those. Okay. Um, I'll get those. I'm gonna get those. I'm gonna get those. Maybe. 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 Need to look that up and I need to put these back. Okay. Please hold while I do some cleaning. Okay, I got some shoes. Let's look at furniture. And I am going to head to the bath and see what they have back there. But let's take a look. Three dollars. Looks like there's three. A bunch of these vintage hard chairs. A dollar each. Ooh, these are nice. One dollar each. fancy massage chair oh a lift chair zero gravity lift chair this is seven dollars those are expensive some well used lounge chairs five a vintage 70s couch, 15. Ooh, look at those. Uh, five each. Not bad, not bad. Okay, let us continue. More shoes. Mm, I might just take a little brows. Maui and Sun. <laughs> Tahari. Unzip this one. Oh, Bangalino, which is a decent brand. What are you? Old Navy. Target. Yossi Samra. I'll look that up. It might be worth $5, but. I will take a little peek. Okay, I'm gonna go to the back. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. We've got a little bit of a handbag pile left here. Makowski. That's a nice thing. What are you? Jacobs? Like a... Oh, it's Mark Jacobs. Why did someone not want this? Probably because it's heavy, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we're continuing on. Oh, I'm so distracted. Good lord. Frenzy? Genuine leather. I don't know. I'll check. This 
feels cheap. Okay, we made it to the back. I made it. This is falling apart. Tazas Dust Earthes, Litho. That is interesting, isn't it? It's a set of them. Sport set. It's like a patenty almost. We'll get that. Look at this chunky belt. Made in China. Another line. Mary Kay. Bagelini. Bagelini always sells for me. So I think I will get that. What are you, monstrosity? Thick skin. It is a heavy duty, heavy duty bag. Needs a little cleany clean. Does it smell? No. Okay, let's put that in. All match the Pioneer of Fashion Trend. Nicole Miller, New York. That's not bad. Pendleton Roundup. Legacy. Ooh, what tie is this? Oh, it's a scarf. Columbia. It's um so quiet in here that you can probably hear the music super well, which is gonna be difficult might for the first time in my life have to do some sort of music covering for the bins. Maybe because like kids went back to school and parents are busy and so it's like not the most exciting thing to do. Herschel, we'll get that. That's a cute little bag. What's back here? Uh, okay, I think we're ready to move on. This is a cute little hobo. Very dirty though. Very dirty. Is this hobo? No, it's Latico. USA. I'll look that up. Latico. What are you? Oh, you're so cute, you're ugly. Chelsea Teddy Bear. 
Oh, it's a teddy bear? No, it's a cat. I don't know. Okay, let's continue. Maybe I need this for one of my cats. She's very disobedient though. I've tried to put her in a harness. She's just very squished. This one is falling apart. Stuart Original. Hmm, I like that. Ooh, we got another, maybe? No. A mallet. Because that's what you need when you're shopping. Good mallet. It's kind of a cute bag. in it though. Everest. Not to argue. No name. Adrian Vitatino or whatever. This is actually a really cute bag. Hmm, I might get that. Marine are nice for organizing your purse. You just like put it in your bag and it kind of lets it keep the shape. Cerebella made in Bend, Oregon. Made from recycled bags maybe? Huh. Nice little scarf. Mm, I'm gonna leave that. I don't know what this is saying. Not that that's really deterred me in the past, but. Those Peters. The sack. We'll get that one. Black Ovis. Okay. Move on. Here's another bagelini. This one's in good shape, actually. And it's like a bright pink. I think that one would do well. Shiralia. I think I picked up one of these, but this one's chipping a ton, so I'm gonna leave that one. Ooh, this one is definitely dying. So let's uh, put that not in my cart. Rosette. Not quite the little bunch of stuff right here. 
this is Bayfen. Looks like B E F E N. is Roxy. Okay. What does that say? Stone and Co, which is decent. This one is pretty dirty. I'm gonna leave that one. Nicole Miller. Just a new with tags. Ralph Lauren scarf. I have a lot of scarves right now, though. I have to work through some of this stuff before certain things, anyway. Before I add more cozy earth. KVC. Ooh, it's really dirty. Nice backpack, actually. Dan, Michael Kors, maybe it's rough shape. Diane Hardy. Maybe. I have no idea. I'll look it up. West Bronco. Okay. Yeah. What are you? Those are fun. They're signed tests. Might have to get those. Okay, I'm gonna organize a little bit and then I'll be back. Okay, I went through most of the things and I'm keeping most of it. Um, I'm putting back these two, whoa, as I fall in the bin. Uh, the Flavame wallet, 15 ish, and I am putting back the Michael Kors just because it is, this is very well loved. Like, extremely well-loved. You could probably still get 15-ish out of it, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it back. So, let us continue our journey. What I probably will be doing is going and getting another cart, because I literally only went through maybe a fourth of the bins, and I will be doing a second video with a whole new cart. So, but I will be going through everything I found in the first bit here at the bins and I am going to go through a few more but I think I am going to find way too much Ooh, this is a Barbie house 
Look at this fancy house. Um, I think I'm going to find way, way too much to make it one video, so I'm just gonna make it two whole separate videos. Bed. Oh, okay. What happens here? Oh, this goes down and in there. Look at that fancy house. I bet you this is worth something, but I do not really want to get a massive Barbie house. Oh. They probably would give it to me for like five bucks, too. Who's made? When were you made? I don't know. There is one pot. But if I had kids, I would definitely screw that up. That is awesome. I'm gonna guess it's like a hundred, maybe. Ooh, I don't know if I wanted it so big. Well, I'll look it up. Okay, you talked me into it. I'll put it in my cart and look it up. Me, I need to be more picky. I'm getting way too much stuff. Then me buys a massive Barbie house. Okay, I might not be getting it, but I'm gonna look it up and see. That's a pretty good brand. These ones are very sad corkies. A whole piano. Disneyland. 1955. Made in China. Might look that up. through another bin and then I'm gonna go get a new cart and we're gonna just fill up two carts today. Ooh, this is fun. Very like Kate Spade ish. Cargo zip. Franklin Planner, 1999 address and phone. Hmm, that might be worth something. Oh, also I picked up these. He is adorable. Look at him. Oh, we got a Care Bear. Very dirty Care Bear. He's had a life. Made in China. 2015. He's a pretty new Care Bear. Or mine. 
I don't know, you tell me. Richard Scary's Animal Mother Goose. I love Richard Scary. Or however you, Scary. Okay, I think I'm going to go through this cart, give you guys an overview of what I have found so far, and then I'm going to go get another cart, and we're going to do this all over again because I am filling these things up. Hefty, hefty. All right, let's go through this, and then I will start round two, I guess. Look at this massive entertainment center. It is ten dollars. Oh wow. Are these locked? <laughs> Maybe they are. Okay. I'm gonna go through all of my things. Then we're dipping in again and going for round two. This is mostly purses. There is no breakable bins that I can see. It doesn't mean there won't be some out, but as of right now, there isn't any breakable bins, so. Um, which is fine with me because I don't exactly need breakables. I like clothing, handbags, and shoes, so that's totally fine with me, but let me go through everything and show you what I got. And we'll go from there. Okay, first is this really pretty pink bagelini, a little something there, but not too bad. Inside is really nice. Like, I don't know if they use this. I mean, I know it has this little spot, but it's in pretty darn good shape, so we're getting that. Um, this is a sealed Franklin Cove address phone tab. Uh, what would you call it? You can add it to your planner. And I think that might be worth getting. I'm not sure exactly, but I'm pretty sure. Um, two of these really pretty cups, signed tests. I think those are blueberries but two of those and those will be glass price, which is 79 cents a pound. So probably around a dollar for both of those. Next, a vintage hat by Stuart Original, Union Made. I'm a sucker for some vintage stuff. Getting that. Next, Diane Hardy. Another fun hat. She, I looked her up and she looks to do relatively well as well. So yes, that is my orange juice. I did not pick that up in the bins. <laughs> but you know, sometimes when you're really thirsty, stuff's looking real good. It's like you're in a desert. Okay, next a pair of Tahari. Really fun fringe slip-ons. I think they're probably leather. They are the Langley six and a half. Goodwill wanted $10 for them. Next, a Forenzi wallet. It's very distressed, has some markings and whatnot, but people kind of like this. People like when there's some markings and show of wear. Um, I looked this up and it looks to do, you know, relatively well, $20, $20 about, so look at that. Next is a sack. It has its little fobby thing. Inside's in pretty good shape. Has some like normal wear and tear as far as like discoloration, but not too bad. And that, next a Herschel backpack. These do pretty well for me. There's some interior staining, but not too bad. Um, I think like 30-ish on these if I remember. I have a tropical one posted right now, but because of the print, it's posted higher. But Herschel does well. 
this I did not look up, but it is fascinatingly amazing. I don't know if that is English, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, this is thick skin. It's a suede interior. And it is a amazing bag. I love the look of the outside. And I just like scratched it. <laughs> but that's just the way the leather is. But look at that. It's a nice little messenger. Yes, please. Okay, next is another bagelini. This just needs to be wiped off. But lots of little compartments and doodads and all that kind of stuff. Uh, bagelini sells pretty well for me. So I'm going to pick those up. Next is a sport sack. It's like a nylon, but it looks kind of patenty, like a patent leather. But it is not patent leather. Next is an Adrienne Vitadine Vitadino. Um, it has this little paint there. Uh, I was kind of contemplating whether I should get it or not, but there were some sold for some similar for around forty. So I am going to get that one. Next is a Marc Jacobs. It's very distressed looking, but it has this really nice raw leather look. Goodwill was selling it for $7 at some point in their life. I don't think it was here, but anyway. Marc Jacobs. Um, I don't know if I will do much to this before I post it. I think it probably will just, I'll post it as it is because people who like this like it and I don't want to clean it up too much to get take away that like raw look. Next is a B. Mikowski. I found both of these next to each other and I think, and I think someone didn't want them because they're kind of heavy, but this is also in really good shape. Studded B. Mikowski. Next, a pair of Dr. Scholl's wedge boots. I think these are 10s or 11s. They're 11, so good size. Uh, Goodwill wanted $10 for them. So, I'm gonna get those. Next is a Habitat Clothes to Live In. This brand does pretty well. I think the price has went down on it some, but it still does relatively decent. Uh, Goodwill was selling it for $7.99 and it's just a full zip sweater. Oops. Next, a pair of Allegria by PG Light slip on sandals. What size are these? It's a mystery size. It is a mystery. Oh. What size? 38. So maybe like a seven and a half. Uh, but super light, so we're gonna get those. Next is a Prana workout running dress. Seems like a smaller size. Um, let's see if I can find out what it is. Size small, yeah. Goodwill was selling it for $15. Next is a pair of Donald J. Pilner, Pliner, sorry. Um, I have gotten his shoes in the past and they've sold very slow, but I'm giving it a go again. I'm gonna see. I'm hoping the snakeskin people will come out. Oh, that's fine. Will come out and, and get their shoes. But yes, I'm gonna get those. Next is a pretty heavy duty, but I think I can sell this for like 40-ish. Maybe 50, it's Abercrombie and Fitch, extra, extra large, muscle, heavy weight, like, jacket. It's like a jacket hoodie. Um, and I think I can sell it relatively high, but this is probably three-ish pounds or so. So, I'm gonna be a little more on that. The stuff on this is like honorable mention, maybe I'm getting, I'm not sure yet. So I will get that at the end. Next, a pair of J. Renee with a clear heel. Mm, size 11, which is also nice. I just love these, they look so fun. 
Okay, so we're getting those. Next, a really nice pair of Lucky Snakeskin, well, faux snakeskin, size 10 again. Booties, love those. A pair of Kelvin Klein, Daniela, size 8. They are not leather, they're vegan, but it's a really nice faux croc light blue print. Goodwill was wanting the $15 for those. Next is a Latico USA little wristlet. Is it a wristlet? Clutch maybe? Oh, mm, I don't know. Questions. Questionable. Not sure. But it looks to do okay for a tiny bag. I'll get it. Next, a pair of Yossi Samra, like patenty sandals. I'm not a fan of this type of um, material. I feel like I'm slipping around all the time, but someone out there will like them. Goodwill is wanting $5 for those. Next, a pair of Nine West. I think this is a faux calf hair uh, heel. These are size eight and a half. Goodwill was selling them for $13. Okay, we got those, got those. I think this is vintage LL Bean. It's like a tartan plaid print, size extra large. It's a pretty nice shirt. I should make sure all the buttons are here, actually. It's a problem with me, getting things that don't have all their buttons. Okay, next is a Sundance Film Festival vintage shirt by SDI. I looked up Sundance Film Festival merch, um, and the older stuff does seem to do relatively well, so I'm gonna get that. Next, also an interesting find, is a Williams Sonoma yellow apron made in USA. Also seems to do relatively well. Some stuff that I'm just like, that's interesting. That is interesting. Okay, next is a curio. This looks to be from Anthropology. Size medium, and it is a vintage. And it has a nice print on it. It's nicely made. There's some weird armpit stuff happening. I'll look at that. Um... But yes, I think I'll get this. I'm trying to not get super heavy things, even though I have a whole Barbie house in the bottom of my cart. But here we are, breaking rules. Okay, Don Donnie Brook made in Ukraine, size 5'6". Goodwill was wanting $12.99. It's a nice plaid tartan blazer jacket. Brand seems to sell pretty well. It is a Ukraine-Russia collaboration, so who would have thought? Okay, we got that. Next is a Sugar Thrills size small little like bustier top. These were all over the place, but people were posting them from 20 to 50, but it'll probably cost like, gosh, I don't know. 20 cents maybe so why not this I think is a vintage I need to double check it might be a new one. Oh yeah it might be not but still it's a little mini Jansport backpack I sold a vintage Jansport backpack for like $50 like the mini ones are the popular ones so so we'll get it we'll give it a go um a guy gave me this and told me I should read it nickel and dimed on not getting by in america he said it was a very good book i might get it not sure i like a good book so we'll see okay let's do some honorable mentions these are ones i'm not exactly sure if i'm gonna get or not but these are not your daughter's jeans er, right not your daughter's jeans yeah uh super skinny Size 12. I like the print on these. And it's a size 12, which is nice. Goodwill wanted 15 for those. 
Um, I'm getting that. I'm getting that. I'm not sure if I'm getting this. It's a Avon Viv, which is from Target, but it's like a jumpsuit. Super colorful. Has the waist tie. So might be getting that. And then this is a modern kind of flapper beaded dress. I might be getting this one as well. I'm not sure. I have one I'm waiting to sell that is like this, but black. So I might see how that goes before I pick up other things. So those are my honorable mentions. And then a massive Barbie house. I don't know what's wrong with me. Who knows? Anyways, that's what we're getting. Round one. I'm going in for round two. It will be a separate video. So come back and see what I find in digging through the bins in round two. Um, I didn't realize how good my bins were until, you know, going and visiting other bins and whatnot, but I could be here literally all day and I could come away with a lot, a lot, a lot of good stuff too, which is crazy actually. And I'm thankful that one is so close to me that I can do that. But if you can give this video a thumbs up, I would so appreciate it. It helps everything so much. Any kind of engagement with the video helps. Sharing it, subscribing, liking. Uh, you can leave a comment. You can leave an emoji. You know, any sort of engagement definitely helps. And I appreciate it so much, like always. Also, shout out to the lady, I'm not sure your name, who was so excited to see me. It was a little surreal, to be honest, because no one knows what my face is, but she recognized my voice. <laughs> so, um, thank you for supporting my videos. I appreciate it so much. All right, peeps, until the next one that's coming out, usually every two to three days, I'll see you then. Bye.